morning YouTube, morning YouTube, YouTube, Troy Stars again. I mean, I say good morning, good afternoon, good day. I mean, wherever you are, I must catch one of them. YouTube, you're, you're, you're me on the YouTube. You know, I try Stars again, I check in. I mean, I say one more time, I say big up on yourself, big up everybody. You know, you know, try Stars always come with something new and fresh. But anyway, um, this video is basically talking about how to be safe on the road you know what i mean some some you know some little technique on the driving and what to look for and what to expect and you know how to operate and you know just put some little things so you can put it together and do no own put no own to it and make it work you know what i mean so right after this try styles are coming peace big up on yourself you know you watch the intro the intro the intro i don't know try stars back at it again big up on yourself <laughs> For more videos like this, please subscribe. Yes, peeps, as I say, I try stars again. So listen to me now. All right, see? Um, you know, when you're out on the road, especially in, in the winter, you need, you, need, you need more than just highs. <laughs> you need in sync, you need thought, mind. You need everything for set, you need everything for the band track. Re, um, real talk now, because you're the thing, you know. Um, when you're out there, and especially when, you, when, you're, when you're an immigrant, you, need, you know, you're from another country, and you have a whole lot of stuff on your brain or your mind, you know, thinking about your family, thinking about your house at home, you're thinking about anything, you're just, your mind just running wild, you know what I mean? So, you have to be extremely focused throughout the winter. So, some of them... These are some of the stuff I'm going to cover so that I can, you know, be more alert, you know, and be more, I mean, anyway, we get to the point, guys. You ain't going to, we're going to talk about the walking part of the situation now. Yeah, we are driving, but we know we have to talk about the walking part. If you come out more time, you have a walk, right? And if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're new to the snow, I mean, you truckers that I deal with right now, you know. You know, the veteran, them in the thing already, but you know, can't listen the same way and give, get some tips and make me know what I go on and, you know, talk to me in the comment box. You don't know me respond, you don't know me read, you don't know. Yeah, so here me, I talk to me new drivers, them and people are interested for coming out of the system. You know, I saw the things to you, I advise the newcomers and I make everybody be more prepared and ready, you know what I mean? So that this thing will just work perfect when they drop you in at the place, you know. So this is it. Walking in the snow, walking on ice, we have, to, we, have, we have to cover the part there first. Now, when you walk on the ice, to be honest, you have to make sure so you do this thing yeah, with caution, you know what I mean? Because we know a lot of guys that fall and, and, and hurt them back and, and, you know, fall hard and end up in hospital and stuff like that. Just by just walking like, you know, you think it's summer, you think it's... Because you know you, you're, you're getting grip, you should just step as you have a like. You can't really you can't really play like that in the in the in the winter. You know what I mean? There are some occasions where you can you know walk like normal, but there's there, there's an there's there are others where you have to push and pull. You know what I mean? Push one foot, pull the next one, push, pull, pull. You know that don't no eye stepping, no eye stepping. Just take your time, push, pull, push. <laughs> Pull. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's a lot of technique within walking and driving. So I have to just cover everything. Now, what are the things that you need when, when especially when you are driving? You need to ensure that your rear view mirrors are extremely clean. You know what I mean? I, I, I have a little style where I, I would put some some of the 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 window the window washer, wind, the wind, windscreen washer, that's the antifreeze. I would pour some in, in a bottle. You know, and I have my little scoongy wiper glass thing. I don't have a cloth. I have the, 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 the little wipe thing that you see at the truck stop. But not the one at the truck stop. I buy, I buy my own, right? You have some guys that borrow, borrow. You have some guys that borrow the one at the truck stop and then take it back in, in the summer. That's what they said. I don't, I'm not sure. But I, I bought, uh, uh, you know, I, I leave it in the truck as I will show you what I'm talking about. The little scoongy thing that you use to wipe the glass. Then I would have a spray buckle. You know, with the antifreeze, because if you use like 
Windex and stuff like that. By the time you spray it on the glass, it will just freeze on the glass and then it will make the situation worse. You know what I mean? So you have to get the antifreeze, you have to and you gotta clean your glass, make sure your, your, your rear view mirrors are clean at all times, right? Now, whenever you stop, maybe you stop to get your rear view mirror clean, make sure to walk around the back of the, back of the trailer and check your brake lights to see if it's all covered with, 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 with snow and all that because you don't want your, your, your brake light to be covered with snow, especially your indicator light. You don't want no, well, no light whatsoever on the back of your truck to cover with snow. So you make sure you go around there with, with your cloth you, 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 you know, and you wipe those off so that you can have um, visible lights for, for, the, for the drivers behind, you know, because you may slow it down because of something and they, they didn't see your light because it's all covered and run down and call, cause a big accident, you know. So you, you have to make sure all of that is, is well, you know, even, even when you're already done your pre-trip and stuff, if, if you know it's snowy bad outside and you stop to clean your rearview mirror off, Sometimes you just need to go, go at the back of the trailer and check your, your brake lights and stuff to see if those are visible for other drivers. Now, the next thing, the next thing, because, you know, we already cover the, 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 the gears, you know, and I already, you know, try to talk to you guys about how important it is to be, you know, ready for this winter, you know what I mean? And I like it, not, not just this winter, for every and all winters, you know? So... The next thing is you, you guys need to ensure to look out for these guys that is overtaking. Now this is this is the this is one of the, the things that cause a lot of accidents. You know what I mean? This this other other drivers overtaking. You know what I mean? The overtaking is one of the the big one that cause more most accidents on the streets. You know what I mean? I have some videos there that I'm gonna play. For you guys to see, okay, what well, one of the one of the safe parts or or the safe thing to do while driving is as soon as you're seeing that the road is getting really difficult to to to, to see, like visible it's vis, visibility is poor. One of the safest thing to do is pull off at the, the closest or the nearest truck stop, you know, just to be safe or. You know, just to ensure that everything is working properly, you have enough window washer in your truck. You, you know, if if you if you can't really see that well, just pull off at the next truck stop coming up. That that is one of the the, the most safest thing to do when it's getting really really bad in terms of con uh, weather condition out there. You know, after finish up with that part, there are some times where the snow, the, the road is pretty pretty. Um, Horrible, you know, pretty bad as this one, you know what I mean? So bad that you can't, you, you don't know where to, what to do and, and how to do it, <laughs> you know? So it's like this, if, you, if you're on a road like this, you know what I mean? If you, if you can look closer, there's my, my four-way flasher on, right? So what, 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 I, what that is for is basically let everyone know, be careful when you're overtaking. You know what I mean? Because the, the, the road is pretty bad. You know? Um, I want you to take a closer look into my rear view mirror, that small rear view mirror out on the, the, the bumper there in the truck. Just take a, there's a truck coming up. Now, that truck is overtaking. Now, when you see stuff like this happening, the first thing to do is get off your gas and start slowing down. Because as soon as he pull in front of you, it's going to be problems. So, get off your gas, Slow down, watch him, and you can give him your, your light when, when, when he's out there too long. And you, know, you, you know in yourself that you want to get in. You give him a bright light, and he will know that, okay, it's time for me to pull in. But because you're going the correct speed, or you, you slow down, you will have enough time to, you know, man over your truck or to get to, to, be, to be safe, you know what I mean? Just to get everything correct. So this is exactly what I'm what I'm what I'm what I'm talking about like when they, they, they overtake you know when, when when they come in front of you it's more loose powdery snow dust the start the start you know covering your, your windscreen glass and the reason why you can't stop in these these situations because normally when you break 
the, 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 the trailer of a, of a time to slide to go jack knife. You don't want to, you don't want to jack knife. You know what I mean? Because the, the, the trail, the, the truck will stop, but the trailer is heavy. So because of the, the ice, because even though it's dusty, it's still ice. So the wheel will, the, the, the trailer will slide and come around and push you off the road and cause some big, terrible accidents. You have to be very careful. You know what I mean? Now, in this one now, basically this guy, like I said, he's going extremely fast. And what he, what he does, he put the indicator from early, but this, this, is, this is where the danger is. This is where the danger is. When you can't actually see anything, now you gotta look at the side. You gotta take your, your eyes from in front and look at the side of the, 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 the road. So you gotta see how far away you, de you, you are from the, 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 the edge of the road because that can get you in trouble. You know, and for example, in this video right now, you're, you're looking at a, at a bridge with, with some rails. So if, you, if you're not careful, you go to the, to the edge of one of these and you, you get off the road, you're coming down a hill, you know what I mean? So you, so you, have, to, you have to just, you know, be careful. With this one, is, is like, in, this is a day, daytime, but it's the same effect in the day, but even though you, you may can see more or a lot more, it's the same effect. So you, you need to slow down, and if you can see his indicator is on, but he haven't pulled in as yet. So you'd have to give him your like flash your lights, and then he will pull in in front, and then you know that would be a better drive. Now you can see everything what's going on. You you know you're you're more you, you, you're, you're more safe in this way. You know what I mean? So these are the conditions that you got to deal with when you're out there. You know what I mean? Even for cars. You know, you got, you got to look out for the cars also. You know what I mean? And, you know, some, I don't know, some people might think they can't slide off the road or they're too bad because they got this snow or this, you know, um, winter tire on, so to speak. They, they think that it's going to, it's, it's, it's a big help. It's a, it's a help, but it's not that big help that you can escape anything that, to happen, you know? But... Like I said, um, YouTube, I just uh, did this video just to ensure that I can, you know, maybe help for those who, you know, not, not knowing what to do in, 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 in these type of situations. There, there are a lot more out there, but these are some of the main ones. These are the ones that, that, that will throw you off completely. You know what I mean? The others are, 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 are like, I'm not going to say minor, but the others are very dangerous as much as this but this these one happen very frequently these ones are the one that cause a lot more accidents you know what i mean um one of the next thing um is how to you know like when you're sliding because sometimes when you're when you're when you're actually sliding you can feel the truck you can feel that slide sliding you 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 you're up there and, and you you know you can't go on your your brake. If you go on your brake, that's when it's all over. You know what I mean? The only brake you can try to use is your trailer brake. And the reason why I said use a trailer brake is, is, is physics, right? So it's like if this is the, the, the front of the truck and this is the trailer at the back, sweeping sweep like this, you know? And the truck is front is driving. Once you stop, round here, go anywhere it feel like you want to go, you know, like go sideways and clip you and that's when jackknife come about and you, you, you know you sweep other cars off the road or whatnot so one of the best thing to do when, when you find it, your, your trailer going like that is to apply the trailer brake not with full force but just a little tat and the trailer brake and then ensure that your truck is still moving so what that, what that does is when the, the wheel kind of get that stop the trailer the trailer pull it so it's like the tractor is moving and when the, the back come to like stop the, 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 the if it even stop to the side the tractor move and pull it back so it gets straight if you understand what i mean it's, it's like i said it's like physics you know so you gotta you gotta understand the, the, the technique and know what speed and whenever you're in an accident the company never trust me one of the rules that i that is on the contract from one of the companies that i work for is they, 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 I don't want to tell a lie, but they were saying like 
the truck is their first priority. The truck is the first thing they 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 really want to know if. All right, okay. For example, in in my last video that I showed, when I when I run off the road, um, slide off the road in Newfoundland. Um, when I called the company to let them know what happened, the first thing the boss said to me, the first, very first thing the boss said to me is if the truck is okay. I'm not lying. The first thing he said to me, is the truck fine? Is the truck smashed up? And I was like, um, no, it's just in the ditch. So, okay. Okay. So, how about the goods? I'm like, I think everything is in intact. Okay. And right after that, he hung up before he called back and then asked me if if I'm okay. I'm not lying. I'm, I swear to God. So the first thing they checked on is if the truck is okay, not you. You know what I mean? So I don't know, but that's how they do it. You know what I mean? So. That being said, you need to protect yourself because by the end of the day, I don't see where anyone else is protecting you, you know what I mean? So you have to be careful out there. So um, I'm going to wrap this video up. It's not, it was not a long video. It was just a video that I've, I've been talking about that I wanted to do and, you know, I didn't get, get come around to it to just put it out. But, um, you know, thanks for watching. I'm TriStars. Thanks for checking in. Um, I want to say a big respect to all the, the viewers, all my new subscribers, you know, thanks for sharing my video, you know, and thanks for the, the, the tons of comments that I get. I read each and every one and, you know, I just want to say blessed and, you know, let's be safe for the new year, 2018. I want to tell everybody, big respect and thanks. Peace. Thanks for tuning in. Try stars. Big up. For more videos like this, please subscribe.